Mowing lawns is for stupid people. If you've been mowing for the past five years and you're still doing the exact same thing, you're dumb. I'm gonna tell you why with one simple trick. It's called math. This behind me is a landscaping job that I closed three months back and it was designed by Taylor. He's an in-house designer for Applewood. And this particular job out the door was $140,000. Now, I'm gonna walk you through some of the things so you understand and then we're gonna compare this to lawns. It's gonna be very educational, hang tight. You're gonna love this. First, what we did is we came in here and we ripped out all the existing concrete and we formed and put this brand new broom finish concrete slab. Now I know a lot of you are like, T, I don't know how to do concrete. How could I even do this? Hold on, hold your horses. I'm gonna explain to you exactly how to do it. First, we must see what we did. Then we came in and installed all these plants. We did mulch, lights, irrigation. And then on this side, we did the exact same thing. I know a lot of you already know how to do mulch and plants, maybe not lights, but I know you know how to do mulch and plants for sure. We installed irrigation for the grass and we're waiting for the sod to come in until we finish the entire project. And on this side, there's a big concrete patio that is gonna have a hot tub, it's gonna have a cold plunge, and then on top of all that, it's gonna be a really nice deck. So you don't have to jump over the hot tub, you can just climb two stairs and then climb two more stairs and jump right in the hot tub. Here's the picture of the design, so you can kind of tell. I know a lot of you are looking at this and you're like, T, this looks so confusing. It's really not. I'm gonna show you why. And then on this side right here, we're gonna have an entire fence going all the way down. These steppers, this is a grass area. And all the way over here, we did pavers with some bullnose steps. And then we also installed a brand new concrete pad all the way down here. Now that you see the scope of the project, I'm gonna show you some of the tools you need to be able to complete a job like this. And then we're gonna compare this to the tools you need in lawn care. You're gonna need guys that understand how to do pavers, concrete, retaining walls, fences, grass, mulch, irrigation, lighting. But remember, you get paid in the proportion of problems that you figure out. If you figure out very small problems, you're gonna get paid a small amount. If you figure out big problems and you do a very nice job and it's, everything's nice and smooth, you're gonna get big dollars. So you have to pick and choose which kind of problems you wanna solve. If you wanna solve, little baby, I'm gonna mow the lawn and make 30 bucks, okay, you're only gonna get 30 bucks. If you complete this job, you're gonna get 140,000, and at the worst, you're gonna make 14 grand. That's 10%, at the worst. Now, this $140,000 job is gonna take eight weeks to complete. You're like, T, how do you know that? Because I've done so many of them that I know how long it's gonna take. So the Applewood team comes in Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 4 p.m., they get a 30-minute lunch, and they get two 10-minute breaks every two hours they work. Now, this is very structured, and the boys know that they're only working at one site. This is the difference between lawn care and landscaping. Lawn care, you're doing 100 different things. This, we're only focusing on one, and we're making sure that the job goes smooth and perfect, and then we get to move on to the next one. Now, remember, in order for you to do a job like this, you yourself physically cannot do it. I know a lot of you think that you're gonna wanna be able to do everything yourself, but you can't. You need to have good people here at the job sites in order to perform out the work because if you yourself are here, you're only married and tied to one job. And that's in a best case scenario. In the worst case scenario, you're gonna be spread thin for three and four jobs and you're gonna not only hate your life, but you're gonna hate everything around you and you're gonna be very sour and bitter. Look at me. I'm happy. I'm not sour. I'm super happy. Have you ever seen me unhappy? The answer is no. Do you know why? Because I have incredible people around me and they know more about landscaping than I do. The very first tool you'll most likely need is an enclosed trailer to house all your tools. Now, you could do the whole garage thing where you shovel everything in your truck at the beginning of the day and then shovel everything out, but it's just inefficient. You're gonna be spending more money and labor than if you were just to invest in this thing right here. This is $11,000 and it's in California. If you live in Nebraska or Iowa, you can probably get this thing for eight or 7,000. And the tools inside are gonna be some basic hand tools. Most of the big stuff you can rent, you can rent this for a hundred bucks a day. You can rent blowers, all that, but ideally you're gonna eventually wanna buy this. This thing is three grand. And all the tools in here, I would say about twenty to twenty-five thousand dollars. So just remember that twenty-five grand for a trailer full of tools. That ditch which right there is about fifty grand, and you don't need to buy it. You can go rent it, but ideally, eventually, you want to buy it. 
This dump trailer is very good for storing garbage and moving equipment around, moving tools, and this keeps the job site really, really organized. And again, saves you a lot of money and labor wasted. A lot of people, what they do is they put garbage right on the street and then they put it in their truck and then they have to go to the dump and shovel everything out. That's stupid. You're gonna wanna spend $20,000 and buy one of these, the 16 foot, seven feet wide, and you're gonna put all your garbage in there and you only send one guy to the dump and all he does is push a button instead of wasting an hour and a half or two hours at the dump. That, stupid. Now, you don't have to buy this. They're about $250 to $300 to rent every single day, but ideally you wanna have one of your own because you want it at moment's notice because when there's garbage or you need a yard of sand, two yards of sand, you just wanna hook up to your truck and go. This loader behind me, you do not need, especially to do a job like this. You can do everything with a small one, but if you wanna be super efficient, you're gonna wanna get this. This to rent is again, $350, $400 a day. And this machine right here costs $80,000. Now it's very expensive. Bruh. Now it's very expensive. However, in the long term, it's gonna save you a ton of money because you're able to load semi trucks. Look how big this bucket is. You can literally put three quarters of a yard in this 84 inch bucket. It's huge. And filling up and loading semi trucks with equipment, dirt, soil, everything, it's, it's just so easy. You put one guy in there and he does everything. Very worth it. And the most important tool we forgot to include is this truck right here. This is about $60,000. You're not gonna wanna buy a used one with 200,000 miles because it's gonna break down and it's not gonna be reliable. You're gonna wanna actually spend some money, take a loan on it, pay a payment, 1,500 bucks a month, $1,200 a month, don't worry about it. And it's gonna be able to tow your trailer. It's gonna be able to tow your enclosed trailer, your ditch switch, this loader everything so all in all you need about two hundred ten thousand dollars to get started but at the worst if you just rent everything all the big stuff you need minimum eighty thousand dollars now i know it's a lot of money but we're going to compare at the end to show you exactly why it's not that big of a deal 80 grand that's chump change you're going to be thinking big now you got this i believe in you now the long game this right here is a very beautiful lawn, and I know a lot of you are, you're watching the screen and you're itching for it. You're like, I can't wait to mow this, give it to me now. You need to relax. We're gonna break down exactly how much money this lawn will bring in and how much money we need to invest in order to mow a lawn like this. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be thinking a lot different, but I would say this is probably around $50 lawn. This is 2024 almost, and there's gonna be inflation, gas is through the roof, Joe Biden's on our ass. $50 a lawn, sir. Do we have a deal? Yes, we do. Congratulations. Now you just picked up a lawn. Now, what are you gonna need to mow this $50 lawn? Easy. You're gonna need a mower, blower, weed whacker, edger. You're gonna need a bag for your mower. You're gonna need gas cans, a truck. For a truck, you're probably gonna wanna spend maybe 30, 40 grand. Let's say 40,000 at the max. And for all the tools, like the hand tools and the mowers, we're not doing no commercial big size mower, just a little push mower, probably $5,000 max. So you need 45 grand to get started to make $50. Pretty simple, not bad, make tea. That's pretty cheap, I can definitely do that. I get you, I get you. However, remember, 45,000, 80,000. We're almost there. We're almost there. Now I'm gonna share with you one easy trick that we talked about in the beginning of the video that's gonna blow your socks off. It's called math. We got a calculator, that's right. I know you've seen one of these and everything is gonna make sense once we put it in. Now we're gonna wanna do a $140,000. That's how much the landscaping costs for this job. And we're gonna wanna divide it by how much is the lawn? 50 bucks, right? We're gonna wanna divide $140,000 divided by 50. We're gonna need 2,800 lawns in order to match $140,000 in revenue. Cool, so now we're gonna take the 2,800 and we're gonna divide it by how many lawns can we do in a day? Let's say we can do two lawns in an hour, just to keep it easy. We're gonna do 16 lawns a day because we work eight hours in a day, no big deal. We do 2,800 lawns divided by 16 lawns per day. That's gonna take us to 175 days to mow all those lawns. That's a lot of days. Don't get me wrong. Now we're gonna take 175 and divide it by five days in a week. I wanna find out how many weeks it's gonna take. 175 divided by five is 35 weeks. Cool. Now we're gonna take 35 weeks and figure out how many months it's gonna take us. We do 35 divided by four weeks in one month. That's gonna give us 8.75. Now it's gonna take you nine months to make $140,000 in sales to your door. Now it does not include 
gas prices, Joe Biden, trucks, weed whackers, mowers breaking down, nothing. It just, I'm just telling you how long it's going to take to bring in $140,000 to your door. Pretty much an entire season. Nine months. That's insane. 35 weeks, boy. Now we got that math. We can move forward. Now we have $140,000 in lawns. That's going to take us nine months or we're going to have a $140,000 job. That's going to take us eight weeks. That is a very, very interesting comparison. I need you to really think with that. Don't start comp complaining and saying, oh, I don't know how to do landscaping. Relax. I'm going to show you everything. Just calm down. Most of you are too stressed out and too up in the air and throw your hands up and get emotional. Oh, I don't want to do this. Calm down. Like, it's not that hard. Look at me. If I can do it, don't you think you can do it? You're smart, right? You're a hater. You're always commenting. Bah, bah. You can do this. I believe in you. Now, I know you're thinking, T, you have labor. You're paying all these guys. I'm going to be making way more money than you, punk. Okay, hear me out. Now, remember, we have 2,800 lawns, and we're going to divide that by 16 lawns per day. We're going to find out how many days we're working. So we have 175 lawns. Let's say you have a helper and you're paying the helper 20 bucks an hour. So you have 175 days and you're gonna multiply that by $160 to see how much it's gonna be to pay your helper, which is $28,000. So we're gonna round it up to 30 grand just to keep it easy. And I know for Christmas, you're gonna give them a bonus because you're the best boss ever and you're very appreciative of people when they come and help you. So 30 grand. On top of that 30,000, we're gonna have expenses, fuel, truck payments, uh, insurances. So let's say maximum $50,000 plus thirty thousand dollars for your helper and you're gonna have a grand total of eighty thousand dollars now we're gonna take hundred forty thousand dollars minus eighty thousand and we're gonna be left with sixty thousand so you my friend have worked 175 days and you've made sixty thousand dollars now we want to find out how many hours we work so we're gonna take 175 days multiply that by eight hours which is 1400 hours and we take sixty thousand dollars divided by one thousand four hundred hours and you're gonna get a total grand total of forty two dollars an hour which is not bad forty two dollars an hour is pretty good now i'm going to compare it with you forty two dollars an hour versus what you're going to make if you do landscaping now that you're thinking you're like t landscaping has way more expenses there's no way you're going to be making forty three dollars an hour well let's do the math break it down I'll give you an example let's say with the crew and overhead machines payments on that insurances each guy costs about five hundred dollars a day so you take five hundred dollars multiplied by how many guys are on the crew which is four you have two thousand dollars and they work every single day so you have five days in a week and remember i said it's going to take us eight weeks so you multiply that by eight so you have eighty thousand dollars in labor overhead payments on equipment insurances everything out the door eighty thousand dollars now with materials, when it comes to pavers, concrete, grass, plants, irrigation parts, hauling everything away, I'd say about $30,000. So you're gonna have 80 grand plus 30 grand with a grand total of $110,000 to complete and the rest is profit. Now that leaves us with $30,000 in profit. You'd be like, T, that's pretty good. Good job, man, congratulations. I know, hear me out, hear me out. 30 grand in profit. Now it's gonna take us eight weeks to complete now we're going to take eight weeks times 40 hours and we're going to have 320 hours to complete this entire project now all we do is we take thirty thousand dollars divided by 320 hours and you're going to get 93 dollars and 75 cents per hour now remember how much work did i do for this very little i didn't do any of the landscaping all I did was close the deal, talk to the customer, make sure the communication is good between the employees, the office, the customer, everything's on point. My job is to look after the money and make sure that the company doesn't lose money and bid on the job correctly. That's my job. And physical work, I did zero. Now you spent nine months making $43 an hour and you did a lot of the work. You were pushing the mowers, you were doing everything. I spent eight weeks and I made $93 an hour and I did nothing. So who's really the lazy guy? You or me? I would probably say you. You're lazy because you don't want to get to work. You think physical work is better than mental work. Now, that's really not the case. Obviously, math doesn't lie. This is why I always say, if you're ever in doubt in a situation, just use math. Don't get emotional. Don't be like Tigran. You're such a, 
you're a bad guy. You All you do is brag about money. No, I don't. I do math. The only thing I was good in school was math. Everything else, I failed. Math, I got a B. <laughs> it was a 80%. 79 maybe 80. so just based off the math it makes sense for you to start doing bigger jobs landscaping now how are you gonna do that and just keep in mind by the way that i actually was here for a little bit of the time but at the same time i have three jobs running all at once now i know it's a little too complicated and too confusing because you're like how can i do three jobs if i don't know how to do one that's exactly what i agree with you on you do not do three jobs you do one you take your time and eventually year three, year four, year five, you're gonna build skill sets and you're gonna have really good people working in your company. You're gonna be able to go do two, three, four, five jobs at one given time. But that day will come, that day is not today. Now, I don't wanna leave you with a math equation with no answers because yes, we saw that the numbers don't lie, but we need some answers. T, how do I start doing pavers? How do I start writing contracts? How do I start selling jobs? How do I get employees? What do I do? I'm gonna show you every single thing that I have learned the hard way. And it's gonna be very simple for you. All you have to do is sit down behind a computer screen and watch. Every single member in Goat Gang, $97, boys, I'm telling you, it's really a, it just doesn't even make sense at so much value I provide and you're still kinda on the fence about doing it or not doing it. Bro, I'm telling you, I'm look at me. I'm telling you, I can help you, guaranteed. I will give you 100,000 times more than you give me. All you need to do is sit behind a screen and watch, pay attention, study, and take things seriously. It's not cool to be a loser anymore. Like, it was cool to be a bad boy in high school. If you're a broke boy, you are not a bad boy. If you're rich, you can be a bad boy. It's okay to be an idiot like I am as long as you're rich. It's not cool to be a high school dropout if you're poor. It's only cool when you're rich. I took my life serious. I got on my education. I started studying reading i became the person i am because of information on the internet don't be so foolish i'm telling you go gang is going to help you i'm giving you every single course i have about employees contracts bidding jobs how to do pavers i just came out with that last week all for free 97 bucks and it's yours click the link i'll see you there